-hmm. Let's go down to uh, Indianapolis, uh, Indiana. There's uh, Dave Bacon standing by or sitting by. Hey, Dave, how are you? I'm doing well, Les. How are you? Uh, good. I got anytime I've got Jim Ingram with me, I'm doing fine. All right, you're sitting uh, resting between uh, periods, apparently. Uh, what, what's going on in Indianapolis? What did you find out today? Well, it, it, the Browns had media availability. Freddie Kitchens with the national media. And the question that came up was Kareem Hunt. And he had to answer the questions. Freddie did a great job and basically said he felt that Kareem Hunt in his hometown could do more good than anywhere else if he was able to get his life straightened out. We also find, found out right now they're not concerned about Kareem Hunt, the football player. They want Kareem Hunt, the person, to get right so that Kareem Hunt, the football player, can help the Browns. Well, that, that's pretty interesting because we've heard from supposed experts that he would be better off away from his friends that he grew up with, and maybe Cleveland isn't the best uh, way to do it. Although you got the team here, I don't know how much you know, Roger Goodell is going to allow him to be active with the team or even be out near Berea, but uh, it's, it'll be interesting to see how that develops. Well, right now there's nothing that's been done. They are doing an investigation, and obviously the expectation is there will be some sort of suspension coming for Kareem Hunt. But the Browns are trying to meet with him, help him in any way they can, support him, so that he can get his life together and earn the second chance that they're willing to, get, to give him as long as he keeps on the straight and narrow. Talking to Dave Bacon, who is in uh, where the Combine is. That would be Indianapolis, Indiana. Hey, Dave, what, what's the schedule today, to, tomorrow, and into the, into the end of the week? Today was a lot of availability for the NFL teams, head coaches, general managers. Early in the day tomorrow, they'll wrap that up. John Dorsey will address the national media, and I'm sure Kareem Hunt will come up again. And then the players start filtering in in the afternoon. And that's when they'll have the availability. They'll start by position groups. They'll go and do the drills and all the other stuff. But really, the focus of it is, for, for the teams right now, is meeting with the players, finding out what makes them tick, finding out, you know, do they like football enough to play for any given organization? Jim, would you guess that at the Combine, that's more important than how far a guy throws the ball and all that <clears throat> stuff, talking about the meetings and how they their psychological yeah. uh, stuff yeah, that's yeah, going I, on? Yeah, I'm not, you know, some of the, the questions we've heard over the years that they ask these guys are a little sketchy, but, but I think there's a lot of value in that because, you know, you're investing a lot of money in these guys, especially your first round picks. And, you know, you can, there's the football side of it, but there's also the personality side. And, you know, you, you want to get to know the guys and try to, you know, weed out the guys that don't seem like they're a good fit for you just socially or, you know, the, how they interact with people. So that, I think there's value in that. Dave, you, you've heard about Jimmy Haslam saying that he can tell something just by watching, taking a guy to dinner and see his uh, eating habits, uh, his uh, ordering habits, and it's just how he conducts himself. Um, I think Paul Brown invented that back in 1946. Paul Brown was ahead of the curve in a lot of ways. Remember the the uh, walkie-talkies in the headsets that are now here? Paul Brown was doing that way back yeah. in the 40s and 50s. But the, the important thing is how they interact. And, and these guys admitted they'll try to push buttons, see what makes them mad, see what motivates them. That's what the combine is for. It gives guys 15, 20, 20 minutes, a half hour to get to know the person that they're going to invest a lot of money in. Jim, do you think if a guy's being interviewed by a team he doesn't want to be associated with, he t comes off as a total bozo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he could, he could just like, b like blow off the interviews because I, I, I'd rather not play for you. Right, As but you, you walk can't in the tell door, them you, that. Well, or if you walk in the door and say, I'll talk to you guys, but I'm really not interested. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Dave, any uh, with uh, Freddie, uh, Freddie Kitchens, any uh, uh, positions or names slip out in his discussion as to what uh, the Browns might be looking for? Just a couple of tidbits. They do want to get Brashad Perryman back. He's a, obviously a free agent. They, they're they interested in having him at the right price coming back. Thrilled that he got Greg Robinson under contract. It allows them not to have to address the left tackle immediately via free agency or the draft. So very happy with those kind of things. Just little tidbits that came out. You know, it's interesting, and uh, Freddie Cousins said it when he was introduced as the new head coach of the Browns. He said, 
What's every What's everybody so excited for? We were uh, eight, seven, eight, and zero, oh, or seven, eight, and one. Yeah. Didn't even have a winning record, and I think that that's a good attitude. We as fans were happy with that year, but he yeah. is a coach, and the player is not so happy. Yeah, I mean, in a vacuum, you look at that record and say, "Well, this is a mediocre team." But you know, you look what came the two years before that, yeah. and it looks like a team that's really on the move quickly now. Yeah, one in thirty-one versus uh, seven, eight, and one. I, I would think so. Uh, uh, Dave, what? Uh, uh, it's not a bad. It's not a good uh, crop of quarterbacks. Um, what are What are you looking for there? Although a couple guys can really improve their position, including Ohio State's former quarterback. Well, yeah, and and you know Haskins is a good guy. No, no question about it. Kyler Murray is a guy that will intrigue some people as well, just because of the success that Baker Mayfield had. The guy that followed in his footsteps in Oklahoma and winning the Heisman Trophy. Now, Murray, great athlete. He was, I think, the eighth overall pick by the Oakland A's, was going to be a Major League Baseball player, and has decided he's going to focus on football for now. So that'll be interesting, that dynamic between uh, Murray and Haskin as to who goes number one overall for the quarterback. And, and it'll be a split decision, I think. 